hello everyone and welcome back to the our youtube channel electronics geek and today in this video i'm going to discuss about the vlsi design flow you will get more understanding about where the front end lies and where the back end lies so that you can choose wisely where you have to go in front end or back end okay so before going further please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and follow us on instagram so let's begin VLSI is very large scale integration and it is the process of creating the integrated IC by the combining of thousands of transistors into the single chips. You can see the VLSI design flow chart. So the first is specification, second is the architecture design, the third is the RTL design, VL, RTL verification, system synthesis, DFT, load planning, placements, CTS, routing, sign off, fabrication and packaging and testing and chip. Okay, the first process is specification. Like you will be getting the specification, you have to design a RAM or an IC, like a multiplexer, adder, or a counter. The first block is define the specification. Okay, I have to design the adder. Now the second thing is architectural design. The architectural design defines how it will look like. Like if you are making the architecture of your house, okay, how this house will be look like. So likewise, you have to design an IC and how it will look like. Like how many transistors it will contain or how many block it will, will be there like this this is the architectural design and the third is the RTL design here you will design the circuits using the Verilog code Verilog or system Verilog you can use but mostly we use Verilog code RTL is the resistor transfer level and here we will design the logics with the help of coding like if you want to design the adder we will write the logic for the adder uh, we have to add two numbers and we will get the output sum as carry okay you can see in your screen uh, this is the coding which we have done in the very log after designing part now you have to verify okay so here fourth block is rtl verification here you will verify the design whatever you have designed like you have designed the adder so you have to verify now whether the adder is working as per the specification or not what is the work of adder adders to to add the number so here you will give some input and check whether whether you are getting the output or not so now after verification it comes to the synthesis part so in synthesis whatever the code we have written in the very log it will convert into the gate level netlist you can see in your screen the code we have written in the very log is converted into the logical representation the next block is tft design for testability basically design for testability is to verify the design part whether there is some extra logic in the design or there is some bug in the design so that we can easily find with the help of the dft engineer so dft engineer will test the design part like you can see this is the circuit if we will give the input in, in a b and c so we want a desired output at the output of the end gate so whether we are getting the output or not so we have to verify the logic so like that the dft engineer will do these all things okay so the blog specification architecture design rtl design rtl verification and synthesis and dft these all blocks comes under the front end so here the work of front end engineer is completed now it comes to the back end that is floor plan floor planning is basically let's take an example if you want to build a building then you need a floor planning okay how many how many floor will be there how many rooms will be there like this okay so like this we will do in the ic what will be the size of the transistor how we will do in the wiring what we will delay what will be the shape like this we will do in the floor planning okay and the next is the placement and now after planning these all things we have to place these things into the one chip in placement block we will be placing the transistors buffers in a single chip so the next one is the cts the clock tree synthesis in this block we have to insert some buffer or the inverter so that we can minimize the delay clock delay if you minimize the clock delay then only the speed of the processor or the ic will increase the next one is the routing the routing part we will connect the transistors like like there are two types of routing this is global routing and the detail routing like you can see the global routing and the detail routing the next one is sign off now comes to the sign off part so in the sign off part we will, we will verify the design part before going for the fabrication the next is the fabrication so at last we will fabricate the ic so for fabricating ic we require the mass buffer okay after doing this we will fabricate the ic and we will be getting the chips and the next one is the packaging and testing here this is the atpg machine where we can test the ic easily with the help of this machine here you can see the test lab where we testing the ic the last we will getting the chips this is the processor you can see and this is the ic's and at last it will be in your computer or in your phone so what we have seen is floor plan placement cts routing sign off uh, fabrication packaging and testing and chips this all comes under the backend in backend part we don't require that much coding but we only use for the scripting languages and the front end we require the coding part okay so you, now you can decide whether 
in which will you want to go for front end or back end so i hope you got some idea which path to choose and if you had any question you can comment it below or you can message me on instagram that's it for now so i will be back with another video next week take care bye bye